What's one thing that you have to do when you go to Japan? Buy lots of makeup and skincare. So this video, I'm going to show you all the makeup products that I got in Japan last summer when I went to Osaka. And I just want to do like a combined makeup product review video for you guys. And my skincare video will be coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And let's jump right into the makeup products. So I kept a lot of these products in their original packaging because I wanted to show you what they look like in their packaging. Because a lot of these products might not have obvious English names. So in case you're interested in getting some of these, um, their packaging, I just dropped something. <laughs> their packaging would definitely help you find them. Um, there are ones without packaging because they came like this, but yeah, I try to keep all the packaging for all of the products. Let's start off with this one first. This is for the brows. It's a brow gel. It's by the brand Kiss Me and this is so good. If you find that you have really dark brows or you tend to overfill your brows or you just want to lighten your brows because I personally like my brows to be like two shades lighter than my uh, hair color sometimes and most of the time it just ends up being like a shade lighter or the same color but preferably I like them two shades lighter. So I got this. They won the best cosmetics award three years in a row so I was like yeah I'm gonna try that out thank you. So I just go like this brush it up upwards lightly start from the front of my brows and I go towards the tail of my brows. I try not to focus it on the outer part because I like this part to be darker and this one lightens my brows. So I just focus it on here and then towards the center and that's about it. And then also on this side. So that's what it looks like on the brows. It's really natural looking which I like because some brow gel tends to be a little bit too heavy and it's really obvious that you have brow gel on but this one no. It just gives you a very natural gradient effect which I love and it just lightens my brows up a little bit right and also this lasts all day all day ah, all day all day 12 hours it's not gonna move. Speaking of brows, let's talk about a Shiseido product. This is their eyebrow pencil in the shade brown. And I walk by the shelf, I'm like, mm, what? Eyebrow pencil by Shiseido for two bucks? Heck yeah, so I dropped it into my basket, came home, tried it right away, and uh, it's really good aside from two things. There are two things that I'm like, er, about. First, you have to sharpen it. I really like retractable ones, but this one I have to keep sharpening so that it has a really, really pointy tip. Pointy tips, give you a very hair-like effect, very natural looking brows. So I always look for brow pencils that have a very pointy or small tip. And then the second thing is it tends to run a bit warmer than I like. I like really ashy toned, taupey browns for my brows, but this one tends to be a little bit warm. The next product I've showed you in a monthly favorites before, but I have to talk about it in this video because it's amazing. It's by the brand Canmake and it's their Quick Lash Curler. What this is, is a lash primer. So I use this before I apply my mascara and it just helps keep curls all day. I have Asian lashes, they're short, stubby, they point straight down, they just don't curl. They don't listen to eyelash curlers, but they will listen to this and it stays put all day. And it helps lengthen it a bit, I find. It keeps curls, it lengthens it, doesn't really volumize, but if you use a really good volumizing mascara, your lashes are like, boy. What I usually do is I just apply one coat, let it sit for about 10 seconds. If I want my lashes to be extra va va voom, then I go in with my second coat, let it sit for 10 seconds, and then go in with my favorite mascara. I got backups as you guys can see. This one I'm using right now, and this is what the packaging looks like. Another lash product is by the brand Canmake, and it's their Lash Care Essence. I love this product. It's amazing. I've been using it for months now and after just three weeks of using it, I noticed a huge difference. Like in the beginning, um, I usually wear falsies when I film for you guys because it just brings up my eyes out much more. Back then, before I used this product, whenever I take off my falsies, it tends to pull out one or two of my own lashes. And after a while, I'm just like kind of scared. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't wear falsies anymore because my lashes are falling out every time I take off my lashes, even very carefully. But then after I found this guy, after I started using it a couple of weeks, I noticed that every time I take, took off my falsies, my lashes don't come off. 
anymore. Like not as easily at least. Next is a product that I've been using nonstop. I've been reaching for this almost every day. And this is the Kose Sekise White BB Cream. When I first started using it, I think because it was in the summertime, I was much more tan than right now in the winter. In the winter, I'm about NC20. In the summer, I'm darker than that, like NC25, 30. So when I first tried it, I'm like, okay, this is not gonna work because it was too light. I put it away and I'm like, ugh, what a waste of money. But then I tried it again back in October and I lightened up a lot. So it became one of my favorite BB creams right now. It has SPF 40. Yes, and it just feels really nice on the skin. It's really natural. It doesn't feel heavy It's just very lightweight. Unfortunately, they only have two shades I believe when I was there I only saw one and two and one is the same Except it's more pink. I would say the longevity is pretty good for a BB cream. It lasts all day on me but keep in mind that I have dry skin so Makeup doesn't tend to melt off my skin very easily, especially in the winter time. It just it's, it's glue, it just stays on my face. Next is a very cute product with a baby on it because <laughs> it gives you juicy baby lips. This is the Can Make Days and Night Lip Plumper. It's very, very cute. Okay, one thing is I don't notice that it gives me super plumped lips. And okay, one good thing about it is it's not like some of the other lip plumpers where it stings your lips, you know, those ones that are like, and you're like, oh, this feels really uncomfortable and you have to like wipe it off. This one doesn't do that. It just sits very comfortably on the lips. It's more like a lip gloss than a lip plumper to me. So I don't see like a huge difference in the size of my lips, but it definitely gives you a very juicy, glossy look, which does give your lips more of a fuller look, draws more attention to it. So it looks like this. As you guys can see, it's very glossy. I like it. I don't know, you guys tell me if my lip starts growing throughout this video, okay? Next product, <laughs> I actually got four of them because I think the packaging is so pretty. Like, look at this, gold lid with flowers and it's just so girly, so cute. So let me start off with the one I'm wearing today. This color is number nine. These are the Can Make Stay On Balm Rouge. I should tell you guys that. And it's their lip color, UV shield, moist charge. Oh, those are the things that they claim to do. <laughs> and so when you open it, it's a twist up lipstick, lip balm with color. That's what I would call it. And it's just so moisturizing. Let me show you guys. It's not supposed to have super pigmented color. It's a lip balm with color. So it's just gonna give you a nice wash of color with a lot of moisture. And then next color, this one I always reach for. It's a really pretty nude. It's number six. See? Very natural, easy to wear nude. And next one is number 10. This one is a brighter pink color but it's not too bright once you have it on because it tones down that much more. Next one is number three. This one is more of a tomato red. I guess these would remind me of the Maybelline Baby Lips, but these are so much more moisturizing than the Baby Lips. Another lipstick I got, I put it back in the packaging. This is from the brand Cezanne, and it's in the shade RS1. It's a very pretty My Lips But Better color. Cute packaging as well, clear, and then you open it. Oh, is this supposed to do that? What? This has never done this to me. That's weird. Okay, it comes with a case. Apparently, you can take this out and it's like a little bullet. But you kind of need it. Need this part or else there's no lid for it. The color looks like this. Put it on the bottom. See? Oh, I really like it. Last but not least is a lip gloss. It's by the brand Can Make Again. Can you wrap lip? I've showed this in my favorites because it's such a easy, gorgeous pink color with lots of shine. So it's like a candy pink color, pretty much. So those are the makeup products that I got in Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed. My skincare one will be coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!